milky with a touch of caffeine please that's what we're going for in today's latte nail art tutorial i thought it would be easy peasy but wait until i get into the coffee one if you want to see me struggle the key with this latte nail art is to use products that disperse easily and that is why cocoa is hazy gel is going to be the protagonist of today's act if you don't know hazy gel is a blooming gel which creates dispersion and cocoas offers it in two tones the clear and the white and i did manage to create all of this using only cocoa's japanese gel nail products so i'll drop a link down in the description box below for you let's dive in <music> Hey there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Paola of paolafonsenails.com and I help you master all of your general services using Japanese soft gel only. If this sounds like an issue you'd like to consider exploring and at the end of this video, do consider subscribing. Okay, so I'm going to start with a coat of clear gel, mega stick base on these tips and then i'm going to go ahead and cure that and then i'm going to bring out again my key players which are the hazy gel and i'm going to be using the white one primarily for this design i don't think i'm actually ever going to use the clear one so what you want to do is lay this over on the nail in no particular order go ahead and do this on both tips at this point you can cure or you can just proceed to your color. As you can see, I'm going to be using this uh, Brett Pudding Green 243 and it's slightly sheer. And I'm also going to be using this Midnight Chocolate 223 to um, coat the nails. So again, you can cure or you don't have to cure. Remember, Japanese nail art is all about getting away with as many steps as possible without curing. So um, for sure though, the, after you've applied your color and your white, go ahead and cure it, okay? So that white, that initial white was optional to cure, okay? But now that both colors are on, go ahead and cure. Now you wanna come back in with your white and you're going to overlay it over that green so we're already creating dimension. You're gonna grab some green using a round brush. I do switch over to a mini round brush also by Coco is and you want to start dropping that on that wet white so remember at this point the white underneath and the green underneath this white is cured but this new white we are using with the new green that we have added are not cured let me ask you are you a passionate diyer in the niche of soft gel nails considering making the leap over to becoming pro or are you doing nails as a creative outlet or maybe you're coming back to the industry after a break well i have very good news for you if you are in any of these positions the doors to my coaching program master gel nails pro are opening up very soon mgm pro is the roadmap to a successful career in nails it includes all of my signature courses like the master gel nails course that teaches you how to apply all of your gel nail services with only Japanese soft shell, the efficient eval masterclass specifically dedicated for soft gel specialists, the client booster camp course to help you get booked out even if you're just starting out and nail affiliate in case you want to learn all of my tips and tricks to make income as an affiliate for your favorite nail brands. I truly believe this is the only program you will need to book yourself out in the business of nails, working with the products you love the most, offering only the services you enjoy doing, and attracting a loyal, raving and returning clientele who will want to see no one else for their nails but you. I wanna invite you to join the waitlist for MGN Pro using the link in the description box below. When you join this VIP list, you will receive the best perks for signing up to MGM Pro early. This program opens up only twice a year. So take a moment to pause this video and enroll in that waitlist, AKA the VIP list to be the first to know everything. You can grab a liner brush to start dripping the matcha into the white a little bit. And what's going to help here is to really envision what that ice latte would look like, right? So essentially you have ice cubes with milk and you drop your caffeine into that, right? So imagine what that effect, and if you want to create that for yourself and you know how to make your own 
iced lattes at home. Try that and then see what happens. You'll see that the caffeine portion, right, whether that's matcha or coffee, is going to like like penetrate or like kind of like disperse like in one dollop and then it's going to go like into different swirl patterns and that's what you want to capture in your nail art so this matcha one was actually relatively easy now we are going to be using the uh, chocolate colors to create these um, coffee cafe latte art and let me tell you this is going to be a little bit more difficult because these colors are more pronounced so do less okay you're going to learn to do less if you do try this so start with um, either one dark or light just use a little bit of the light less you can see I just started incorporating the milk chocolate tone in there because that midnight chocolate was a little too much and again when you see that swirling around when you drop your caffeine into your ice latte art like it's not just immediately all black right so do try to incorporate those swirls now at this point i felt like okay i'm starting to stare my latte art right like i don't want that i want to capture the effect right when the caffeine drops into the milk not when I go in there with my uh, spoon or my steering stick and my ice latte and start staring. That's not what I'm trying to capture. I'm trying to capture that moment. It's literally a moment that you're drawing in, uh, when you're dropping your caffeine into that milk. Now, again, I'm learning that I need to do less. Okay, do less to your latte nail art because once I laid this white, I questioned myself and then I was like, all right, we're kind of going to erase this a bit, but that's okay because that layering creates different shades of that green, different shades of that brown. And you do want that because again, that moment when that caffeine hits the milk is what you're trying to capture. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and try that again. I'm not going to cure again. And I'm just going to take it slowly, step by step. But I'll caution you, um, I feel like I got in trouble again. So just keep watching. So what do you think? Do you think I'm getting myself into trouble? I think so. But thank God for this white, which is going to not only cover this dark stuff in my latte now, but it's also going to create some movement, some dispersion. And um, yeah, I'm just going to add a little bit more milk, right? That happens to in real life. Like you realize that you need more milk in your coffee. And again, I don't know why I touched the top. It was fine <laughs> because again, technically you don't have white on top of your coffee once it's been poured in but again maybe i'm just adding extra milk to my latte so you can see i come in here and i blur it out now you tell me in the comment section if you've tried this before or if you're going to try it or if you end up trying it like how is it is it easy it looks easy i believe but I think when you're working with dark colors and marbling, essentially this is like a marbling, then you can get yourself into trouble, right? You have to use those dark colors sparingly. So I'm just going to adjust the design a little bit more before I cure. And I think I'm out of the woods here. I think this is definitely looking more like an ice cafe latte. All right, so I'm bringing back my matcha. It's cured, fully cured. And now I want to overlay this so I can get rid of these like little bumpies, these dips and grooves in the nail. And I'm going to do so by using Excel Builder. Um, also imagine if this was a real nail, it is quite a long nail, so it will benefit from that support. So keep that in mind for your nail services. If you're in the salon, this would be definitely an upgraded service for sure. Obviously the nail art, but do notice also that you're using a structured 
uh, builder gel. So at some point this does become a structured gel overlay. So just make sure that you are charging accordingly. I flip it over so that the gel self levels. I adjust a tiny bit just by combing it with the corner of my brush and you've learned the importance of a square brush in a previous video. Make sure you check that one out. It's square brush versus round and you'll see how the square is actually also very beneficial with those corners for self-leveling now you can see here with my cafe latte art i'm still like mm, i want this a little bit more milky so the good news is that i don't want to say it's easy or hard not to mess this up but it can be and again i don't know why i'm going with the white up here <laughs> i'm just i don't know I, I guess i'm adding more milk to my coffee and uh, as you can see i'm going to remove some because i'm not like digging it completely right like you gotta capture that moment again i'm gonna say it again when that coffee when that caffeine hits the milk okay that's what you're going for so i'm going to adjust it a tiny bit and then i'm actually going to structure this so i'm going to create the self leveling like i just did for that matcha i'm going to do it with um and look at that it looks a little bit better for sure <laughs> i'm going to do it with a uh, platinum bond duo or binding duo actually in a bottle to create beautiful self leveling once I've structured both, I'm going to go ahead and apply Ultra Glossy Top Gel. Thank you for watching and if you found this video valuable would you do me a favor and give it a thumbs up so that i may help more people do check out the description box below for any current resources and promo codes thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one we're continuing on with our one video per day challenge this month that's right one video each day for a total of 31 consecutive videos if you're all in on soft potted gel nail systems or being a specialized gel nail stylist in these systems I got your back these next 30 days and of course in this channel all together because those are revolving topics here. Please, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, hit the notification bell icon so that you're notified as soon as our video drops. Otherwise, every video goes up at 6 p.m. Eastern.